going on, Gypsy fam? Sorry we missed you guys last week. We were busy hanging out with our friend Jacob Starr. Shouts out to you, bro. We had a great time. Thank you for showing us your amazing collection. You guys are gonna be able to see that soon in a bit. Um, and we also have a lot of other good things in store for you today. We're finally restocking Marble Soda and Never Content. I know you guys have been asking for, I mean, shoot, almost a year now probably, right? About, yeah. Yeah, yeah, wow. Um, so we're finally, you know, making the time to go to his warehouse. We're gonna have a, a lot to show you over there as well. So, pretty packed episode, stay tuned. What's poppin' everybody, it's your boy Maven. Uh, kinda as the resident vintage head here, I wanted to go over some pieces that I particularly found very interesting in our vintage haul. So, right over here is going to be a newer print Mexican bootleg Dragon Ball Super T. Uh, the way you could indicate that is one, the tag right over here. Usually they print it on that tag. And then on the front, the print is usually in color, but then on the back, it's gonna be like black and white. And then this is a newer one, you can tell just cause it's double stitch. Yeah. And then uh, next piece, this piece is a freaking banger, yo. This is the OG Boondocks tee. And then you got like little Boondocks hit on the back on the triple A tag. This is a double XL. So if there's any big boys here on the drip tee family, besides me, cough, cough, cough. And then um, this one is a beautiful t-shirt. This is an OG PlayStation tee. This is single stitch on the Power Pro Juanita tag. This thing is beautiful because a lot of PlayStation tees after the er, like late 90s, early 2000s started getting printed on like the PlayStation tag, but um, this is like an earlier rendition. So this is like OG, OG. And then the next t-shirt, you got a mid 90s Nike white tag. Jordan, he's back. Nothing on the back, but you know, the front, like it speaks for itself. This one is double stitched. That's how it's gonna indicate. Um, some white tees that are on the white tag are single stitch, but this one is double stitch because it's a mid 90s piece. And then uh, this Tupac piece, it's a bootleg on the pro tee, heavyweight, heavy for the big boys, double stitched. I think whoever got this did some like bleach job on the top to kind of like help out with like this little smoke effect. You got the jewels kind of like right over there too. You see that? A lot of Tupac tees go for, God, the hundreds to the thousands uh, if they're like, they're like special prints. This one isn't like super like heavily seeked out for, but I mean, hell, in like 10 years, vintage is gonna be even more vintage. More bootleg pieces are gonna be harder to get, so cop this one you can. I know this is a really big size, but if, again, we got any big boys out there, it's for you. I'm biased. I really like Russell Athletic Vintage Blanks. Uh, particularly the Made in the USA Russells. They tend to fit a bit longer and a bit boxier and a bit wider than the Made in Mexico Russells. They were produced during the same years, but the Russells fit Americans and uh, the Made in Mexico is just fit a bit smaller all around. So we get Made in USA Russells, or we try to anyway. This is a beautiful forest green. Pretty partial to forest green myself. So this is a great crew neck, great piece for anybody looking for like, um, you know, just a nice basic. Same with the gray, of course. Made in USA, that's what we try to get. Heather gray, can't go wrong with a Heather gay crew neck. Russell Athletic made in the USA. Gotta love these. Now this is something I actually might take for myself, but uh, yeah, I can't. I'll, I'll put it on the website with the rest of them. Marlboro Bomber. Uh, do you have any idea when this is from, Maven? Uh, it has to be like, maybe like eight late 80s early yeah. 90s type beat yeah so cool so cool a lot of these older marlboro apparel pieces have red liner in them but um they're usually pretty basic otherwise on the outside just marlboro script on the back black bomber jacket fits nice and oversized super cool what a great vintage jacket i i really like old like smoking apparel like the old newport stuff the old marlboro stuff the old camel stuff so personal personal favorite and uh yeah we got some 
Batman joints. I think this is like the fifth logo Batman wore. Got some licensing hits on both of these, so both very old. Can't date them. Not the vintage expert like Maven is, but uh, shout out Robert Pattinson. Like Maven said, he really killed it with these in his role in the new movie. Go watch that if you haven't already. We won't spoil anything. Also, real quick, I think the Marlboro jackets are versatile. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're totally right. Maven just discovered something about this jacket I didn't even realize. So, uh, if you see these double-sided tracks, that always guarantees the jacket is reversible. So the jacket zips up from the inside too. So this, I'm sure, just becomes what I'd imagine is a red bomber. Yeah. Inside out, same dealio, same fit, but you get two jackets in one. Now this jacket's even cooler than I thought. Um, two jackets now in one. But yeah, guys, there's a lot more vintage. Um, make sure you check it out. It's gonna be on the website soon or come in store and try it on. Um, we know how vintage fits, it's a little bit different. But we also have the whole vintage rack over here, which is super full now. I don't even know how we're gonna fit all those pieces. But yeah, it's gonna fly quick. So make sure you check the website daily and make sure you come in. Yeah, so most of these pieces were actually sourced from one of the local homies, Thrift God himself, Jacob Starr. And we're actually headed his way right now. We might cop a couple more pieces. He's gonna show us some cool like items in his collection. And we're gonna go right now. Ooh. Hello. I like pickles. We could wait for you to eat. Pickle juice? We can wait. All right, we're at Jacob Star spot. About to do a fit breakdown inside his spot, you know. Today I got on the Bottega bag. I got on the Good Enough Varsity Jacket. If you guys don't know about this, it's like uh, Hiroshi Fujiwara before he did Fragment. Got on the gallery department, jeans, Bottega puddle boots, chrome hearts as always. Just simple today, forgot my earrings. Kinda sad about that, feel kinda naked. But it's whatever, and that's it. Yeah, you heard him, you know where we are. Um, Helmet Lang, Bondage Bomber, reissue. I don't know, oh, chrome hearts, long sleeve, undercover 68 denim. Same chrome hearts as always with the belt, the wallet chains, all that. And uh, chrome bag as always too. And Placove boots as always too. <laughs> I just wear the same thing. <laughs> as always too. Yeah, yeah every day, same too. things, different order, you know. So I was just showing the pantry. Um, these are some like Japanese car hearts. If you look, they're like, instead of the traditional car heart, which you have like right here, where it's the double knee with the little rivets and it cuts off right at the knee. You have this pair that goes all the way to the pocket and then the sew line, kind of crazy. What do you like more? I think that's harder. Um, Yeah, I think I like it. I mean, these ones are just more rare, but I've, yeah. but I've never worn them. Like I literally just, I just bottom because I was like oh, collector yep that's yeah. cool oh these are mm -hmm. sick no these are a little pair of these are the Mason Margiela's too Ooh, oh okay. with like the one gray leg oh yeah that's one fire. Black. yeah and then I got a hard. blue one too right here mm. yellow the top I love those pants they have like a yeah, low yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's <laughs> struggling out here um, oh these are these are just old military pants oh yep vintage. we love old military yeah I feel how heavy these are they're like it's like 50 pounds. Yeah, some dude was carrying this shit. Um, oh, no. Yeah, these are hard. That's why they're so buff, yeah. bro. They'd be wearing armor out there. So you see like the Fendi with the felt stripe. Mm. Um, these ones right here are a little pair of Noah pants. Crazy. Here's some uh, Bodhi. 
Oh, Ooh, Bodie. Come on, man. This man got Bodie money. And with the tag on it, you see this, guys? <laughs> come on, man. I haven't worn it yet, but I feel like this would be, like, I bought this and I was like, this would be cool, like, if I go to Cuba or something. Like, I, he, he said, <laughs> he'd be thinking in the future. That's really what I'd be doing. <laughs> yeah. That's how I buy clothes. I'm just like, this would be sick if I travel to Cuba and watch these bitches. Um, the purple Louis. Purple Louis, okay. And then these are fire, the Fendi's. See, like the Fendi. Look at all these guys oh, have tags on them still, bro. Yeah. You don't even wear these. I wore these once. But maybe yeah, maybe yeah, on the way I to Cuba. Slap <laughs> on, bro. Yeah, this would be a good Cuba fit, too. Yeah. This kid sweater is so sick. I love this. Whoa. Whoa wait, for please. kids, like, yeah, wow. yo. I wish I would have bought more of these. I fucking love this sweater. This is hard. Yeah, the cable That's net like sleeves cool. and just like the clean, like, pigment dye. Nice. And it matches the Sanjeev hoodie, always essential. Mm. This is like my Sanjeev section. I got all of them. Yeah, you got the Sanjeev <laughs> section. Yeah, shout out, Sanjeev. Shout out. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is cool to get on video. The Bape Carhartt. Oh, wow. Oh, and, I got suit. The, and I got the combination, so I got the pants too. Wow. Oh. He's stepping out. Also, still with tags. Dang. Yeah. I want to talk about rare Bape. The Bape Carhartt set. Right. Very rare Bape. That's amazing. What before before Carhartt was what it is now, too. Mm -hmm. kind of yeah. Um, I don't. I think I bought that one off grill. All right, man. Now that we're at your spot, what's your favorite jacket that you own? That is so difficult. We um, can sit here for hours, but. <laughs> mm, uh, is a jacket the same as a hoodie? No. Okay. That makes it a little bit easier. Helps me <laughs> narrow it down a little bit. Oh, this Fendi jacket is pretty fire. This isn't my favorite one, but pretty fire. Little, look at the little Ooh. Fendi taping. That is fire. Um, Oh, this one's cool too, the 424 with the Paisley inside. Mm. Uh, honestly, I think right now it actually is probably the Haven Court. Uh, shout out Keezy. Like, it's a, it's shout a out Keezy, piece, bro. But it's just such good quality. It comes from a YouTuber. It's like, he fucking killed it. I wear this thing. Out of this whole, like, stack, if you don't count the hoodies, in terms of jackets, I probably wear this jacket the most. Yeah, and then in terms of shirts, that's, I don't even know if I Come can Come on, man. You got this? Maybe t t-shirt. Um, oh, look at this, guys. There's a library of t-shirts, and he has to pick one. These are all music tees, mm -hmm. so like, oh, bro, here, pull out like. Tell me you got the Kurt. I got the curtain here. Let's see, um, it, bro. I gotta see the curtain tee in person. But I got, oh. I got a couple of curtains. I got this. I just got this the other day. Wow. Yo. Um, this has a painting that he did on the back. Oh my God. Bro. Um, the goat. This is a. Uh, this has Kurt Cobain's death certificate. That's so fucking cool. That's so sick. A little uh, sexy yeah. robot, Aerosmith. So oh, yeah. Yeah. And look, you see the deck up there? I have the other one. It's like the where the silhouette is on the back, but it's not as like vibrant. Cause there's that one. Yeah. There's like the there's like a white version of that one too. What's crazy is because it's the early two thousands, like these were going for dumb cheap. Oh, yeah. Like I bought this I think for like fifty bucks, now yeah. they all go for like two hundred something. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly out of all my cheese, probably my favorite one isn't even like that expensive. But um it's probably this one. Well, here, both of these are actually really sick. Let me. Oh, I forgot we even asked a question, bro. I've just been yeah. <laughs> We're just like taking it so, all in. Single stitch lowrider. Woo! Um, my wow. uncles are Hispanic, so like I just grew up fucking with lowrider super tough because I always wanted to be like my Uncle Desi. Yeah. And then look at like the side hit, how it's like. Oh, that it wraps around. So yeah, it's like a wraparound print. That's yeah, hard. And it's crazy, it's a single stitch with the lowrider tag. Yeah. That's what I like to see, man. This mental, mental stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah. Most people, you're like, what's your favorite piece? And they'll always pick like the most expensive thing they own. Or yeah. Something like that, but like, yeah, I got cool this, I think, for like, something. I think I got this for like 60 bucks. Yeah. yeah nice. I saw it and I was like, what's crazy is I was, I told the dude who originally owned it, I was like, bro, I would, I'll pay you any amount of money for that. I want it. And he was like, oh, I, I gave it away. Oh. Wow. And he gave it to this dude and I hit this dude up. I was like, yo, please sell it to me. <laughs> and he was like, yo, I fuck with your videos. Like, He's like, yo, yeah. He's like, what do you think? Of, and I forget the price. I think he gave. I think he said sixteen. I think I was like so hyped. I like sent him eighty. I was just like, <laughs> yeah. Take some more money because I want that tea. Those was the answers, right? Those two. Yeah, those two. The yeah, low those riding two shirts. All right, Joe, we're just wrapping up at the homie Jacob's spot. Everybody's hungry. We've had a long day of just looking at some, some beautiful pieces. So uh, Jacob's taking us to one of his... Uh... Jacob, where are, we, where are we going to eat again? We're going to Burger Ranch, man. Burger Ranch, man. <laughs> My mom was a single mom waitress down the street. Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite spots. It's almost... Hey. Yeah. 
All right, so if you guys can't tell already, we are at the man himself's storage unit. Quick pit stop before we grab some dinner. I'm like an organized order. I love that. Yeah, this is awesome. most organized. This is cool. L.O. Rain, Grateful Dead. Oh Yo, that's hard. L.O. Rain. Look at Mickey drop acid. Oh my Yo. god. The Rastafarian Mickey. <laughs> this is hard. Wow. Uh, some like Tyson tees. Oh, you need Spider-Man. Cool. Ooh. Oh wow. Feel the pen. And then the Venom. So Whoa, that Venom too. This is a crazy. mad engine, early 2000s. It's kind of like the last era that was like but it's cr how really big dope. It, can I have folded? Wait, yo, yeah. yeah, feel the webs on his mask. Man. Like the last This is era a hard mad good. engine print. Fuck. That's amazing. Um, oh, this is cool. You guys don't. If any of you guys know about this, I'll be super surprised. Let me see. Do you know who this is? No. It's a, uh, I want to say it's a Japanese band. It's called what Durian the... Gray. It's like the most obscure fucking music you'll ever hear in your life. <laughs> it dude, looks the fucking The dude crazy. literally is like, listen, like, it's the scariest music video I've ever seen. <laughs> it looks, look, this shirt is fucking scary, is bro. Hard, so cool. This is a sick shirt, though. What's poppin', y'all? It's your boy, Maven. We're gonna do an outfit breakdown. Um, we're gonna start from the feet. Uh, pedal boots, Ortega. We got some 501 so Levi's. Then for jacket, we got the Easy Gap puffer, um, standard jewelry as per usual, hat, we got the Poon Poon hat, and then since we're doing a bunch of vintage shit, I wish I knew we were coming here, I would have came more correct, but uh, I just got the, just a vintage World Industry shirt, Wet Willy, and then I got the nice little Wet Willy hit on the back, yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's a sick shirt. A double X? What do you think, man? I don't even care. I'd rock that. Honestly, right? Easy. Yeah, how much? How much? Uh, just it? 20. I got you. What? Oh, that's yes. easy. Just for the uh for the video. So as you guys know, I have a red AE86 85 GTS coupe. Jacob just pulled this out of the the void, man. The bins. It's so cool. Uh, it's mine now. Mugsy Bogues. Okay. Uh -huh. I used to want to. I used to want to be him. Oh God. Shout out Shark Kings, baby. Um. Got some Shark Kings. in here. Five eight is a new six two. Remember <laughs> that. I'm gonna use that. You didn't even let me do my hair before you started taping me. Uh, That's rude. Oh uh, no. I'm not <laughs> 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 <Just I'm not laughs> <laughs> We are currently at Burger Ranch. We used to come here as a kid uh, for the fit. We got a little half faded Toyota uh, vintage hoodie. It's got some little distressing around the pocket. Hopefully it lasts. The Sanji pants, um, thrifted J. Crew long sleeve. I fucking love this long sleeve. Uh, and then the Yeezy slides. And I'm committing a cardinal sin right now. <laughs> Nike socks with the Adidas branded slides. Some simple, oh, and then of course, Chrome hearts. Got from Drip Tea, you feel me? Ah, 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 ah. That's it. Tell me why the man came to Burger Ranch because he knew his. <laughs> he got matched it. Uh, he matched it. I got the Burger Ranch uh, fit. Oh, this car sting. Oh, this car sting. Shit. This car sting. This car sting. <laughs> oh. Even living as a normal guy costs more than eighty bucks. If you're talking about how much like a costume costs, maybe. But like, costume and karate lessons. Nah, I'd say the dude. karate lessons eighty bucks. You give me a costume, dude, I could fight some. Karate. I would. I would give you a full twenty-four hours at most with eighty bucks, trying to be Batman, and then you will be actually homeless. So much soup, I got way too much soup. Oh, double coffee. Machine, so. <laughs>
What's up, Gypsy fam? Uh, we just met up with Justin over here at uh, the man himself's uh, warehouse, I guess. <laughs> Wanna speak a little on your brand and uh, where we are? I thought you said I don't have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at um, we're at the uh, Never Content Marble Soda headquarters. Yes. Uh, this is where all the magic happens. Uh, it's an incredible space, and uh, we're here to pick up product because you guys have been begging us for it, and we are, are, are so sorry for taking so long yeah. on the restock. But uh, but yeah, um, you want to say a little bit about? Yeah, so the brand? Uh, <laughs> I'm explaining his brand over here. You know, I'm the owner of Never Content and Marble Soda. Um, Never Content is basically a brand that's kind of like worked around cars. So a lot of the theme for all the clothes like are based off cars and automotive world and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Damn, put me on the spot too quick. I didn't get time to think about the brand. The owner of Marble Soda here, he coined the, the term peekers. Yeah, yeah. The stickers, the slaps, peekers, this guy coined it. Well, not this guy, but this guy who's off camera. The guy he's speaking for. Um, yeah, you know those stickers were just like the head and maybe like some hands or some hair is like peeking over it, like a window on a car. He started that, so. Yeah, if you guys have ever been to like any boba shop or any um, Korean fried chicken spot, you've probably seen the car with some of the stickers on it. They're everywhere. We'll, have, we'll, we'll have some uh, <laughs> pictures right here of his slabs and they are available on his website and they'll be available on our store. And then Marble Soda is just his more fashion forward line. Uh, definitely more fashion focused, more uh, quality based in terms of like the clothing he puts out. Uh, more thought put into like the actual design of the clothing rather than it referencing anything it's more of like his own original work his own original art always though for both brands always his own original art so that's super admirable mm -hmm. but yeah let's take a look around guys come on i can't film that <laughs> all right guys this is where the magic happens i'm not talking about the bedroom but i'm talking about this big machine right here. This is how all the license plate frames are made. Not blur that out. Beep! <laughs> it's gonna make us a custom plate. You guys are gonna see it at the end of the video. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty uh, big, huge. <laughs> Let's just bolt it in. There it is. It actually like sits. <laughs> Alright guys, you saw how he made the plates on the machine over there. But now, this is the end product right here. He has a lot of different designs. This is one of my personal favorites. It's just very simple. Nevercontent.jp. This is probably one of his most famous designs. It's the Bad Luck Club. I'll never put that one in my car because of the horror stories. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. Got the little box car. The Midnight Mischief. And then this is like probably his most popular seller right here. That's why there's so many different colorways. And it looks so cool too. Yeah, make sure you check him out. We'll have some in our store. So come through the store or check out his website. Hello. Uh, fit breakdown. Got a sample repaired rag jacket. I think I wore this last time I was here. I haven't been on the videos in a while, but uh, yeah. Just a oversized proportion type two. Pretty good. Uh, denim from Okayama, really nice texture. Uh, just undershirt, plaid. Uh, I got this Masato chain from Cotton Street, San Francisco. It's like 925 silver, pretty nice. Uh, just some wide pants and some Viz Skags from 2012. And then this beanie's from uh, this store called Nakamurea in uh, Portland. Also Viz bag, that's it. That thing on um, uh, Nike tech fleece hoodie, I guess, with the Adidas yeah, yeah. pants. 
In the North Face, got a water bottle. Uh, the, uh, I think this is Fred Meyer water. I'd much rather prefer. I'm an eyeball on that Kirkland Signature water over there. It's my, one of my favorite waters. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So right now we're just doing the buys for all the marble soda stuff. Uh, we're gonna be getting the Never Content stuff for the cafe as well. Little does Austin know, we have stolen thousands of dollars worth of product in the process, um, but keep that on the DL. Still figuring this all out, so. All right guys, now we're picking out some clothes that we're gonna put in the market and the cafe. We're putting Never Content into the cafe and we're bringing marble soda into the market. The restock's gonna be pretty big, so make sure you catch it before we run out. I'm gonna do my outfit breakdown. Got on the post archive faction jacket, the Prada bag with the Tenshi Muyo shirt. Shout out Jacob Starr. Got on the fine hidden sweats, a little dirty. And then I got on the Solomon XC6s. Got some chrome hearts. Really simple. And I got an FC too. It's part of my fit. Good breakdowns, huh? Um, those two did. Okay. Well, I made this card again. Um, yes. Lisbon. Uh, St. Michael. <laughs> gallery department. <laughs> Chrome. Prada. He's got a Stone Island hat on. Oh, wait, hold on. I got my matching. Oh, okay. <laughs> Amazing. With a Stone Island uh, canister water bottle <laughs> dangling you from his You see it here first, bro. Nobody has this. You got on the um, Never Never, Never Soda hoodie. And uh, the Zoomies Janowskis. Zoomies Ooh. Janowskis. Fire. This guy's dressed Some the rag, same. Rag and bone this guy's dressed the same for the past 10 years. Sounds Not even like rag, rag and bone jeans. <laughs> We just made it back to the market. We're about to unload my car. As you guys can see right here. A lot of product to go through, sort out. And yeah, it will be in the store by the time you guys see this video. So make sure you come by, check it out. And like always, I'm glad you got to stroll along, meet our friends, Jacob Starr and Mastizi. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time, next week. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and bye.